switching gears here from vibrant murals to colorful canvas paintings, art is just one of the ways the Hispanic culture expresses itself. Fox 11's Mario Ramirez introduces us to a local artist. I remember being so enthralled by how vibrant it is in terms of the fruits, the coconut trees, the ocean. It's those memories as a little girl that sparked Lena's passion for color and a quest for a deeper understanding of her Caribbean culture. And I work in oils. These are all oil paintings. With her teenage son and a dream of owning her own art studio, she picked up and started over. I moved here in 2017 from Queens, New York. Um, and uh, like many people here in L.A., uh, I moved here um, due to displacement and the increasing cost of housing in New York City. I figured, you know, why not take a leap of faith and trust God? Like how they say, you know, if you jump, the net will appear. <laughs> you know, moving all the way to L.A., my art career has taken off. I find that L.A., really places a lot more value in the arts with all these public art opportunities, um, mural opportunities. One of your murals can be seen in the patio space of Mofongos. It's a Puerto Rican restaurant here in Los Angeles. We've been here for 14 years. The North Hollywood Eatery brings the savory culinary tradition of Puerto Rico to Southern California. So I will probably do um, an indigenous woman uh, sitting on the beach, and I'm gonna put more foliage here, uh, more palm trees on this side. Aside from the island's beauty, it holds a layered culture that Lena leans into. Puerto Rico is comprised of three races, historically, African, uh, West African specifically, uh, European, Spaniard, and then Taino, indigenous, the original peoples of Puerto Rico. So what I try to do is to put the highlight more so on the indigenous and African elements of Puerto Rico because it's so often overlooked. Do you have anyone that inspires you with your paintings? My biggest inspiration when it comes to artists is an artist in Puerto Rico named Samuel Lind. He's a very well-known black artist from Loisa and he is just everything that I aspire to be. My number one goal and everything that I'm working toward is to have a studio. My biggest dream is to have a, a community space where uh, not only Puerto Ricans, but all Caribbean people who you know, are here in LA can have one central space to come and celebrate our cultures together because culture is what promotes a sense of belonging in people and every human being has the desire to belong to something you know something bigger than themselves it's so true it's so beautiful too lena actually encourages everyone to share their stories or culture through the arts at any age you can find her artwork focused on Caribbean culture at lenadelsol.com. Mm. That was such an awesome story from Mario Ramirez. Thank you, Sarah. Mario, for introducing us to her. Uh, she's quite a talent. And also, he introduced us to Mofungos. The restaurant, restaurant, right, we should go. In North Hollywood. I know. I, I didn't. I, I had never heard of it. No, me either. But we 